It's Kevin. Now, he knows he's supposed to be home by dinner time. I don't want to ring the panic bell, but at this point, we should consider him gone. <laughs> Let's split up his food. CJ, what's the matter? My teacher's forcing me to be the hall monitor. It's so lame. Lame? I was hall monitor for two years in the sixth grade. It's a stepping stone to being a security guard. I teach you everything I know. What's there to teach? I can probably do your job already. In fact, let me see this night's Whoa, whoa, slow down, Sparky. I had three months training with this. If you take this out the wrong way, you can A, poke your eye out, or B, poke your other eye out. Where have you been? It's 6.15. Dinner is at 6 sharp. This lady gave birth on the bus today. She named the baby after the bus driver. Not too many Chinese kids named Raheem out there. <laughs> hey, Warren. I got a two-for-one coupon for the Flyers game tonight. What do you say, me and you? Hmm? I hate hockey. If I want to see a tiny black thing get slapped around, I'll wait till you piss off my dad. <laughs> hey, Uncle Clarence, what about you? You busy tonight? Unfortunately, I am. We're baking pies for the homeless. They don't need pies. They're homeless, not pieless. <laughs> Ooh, Eartha, you look nice and dress perfectly for a hockey game. What do you say, you wanna go? I will not be your arm candy so you can pretend to have a trophy girlfriend. <laughs> Besides, I have a date tonight. Jalapeno. This is big. Oh, this is bigger than big, this is huge. Will you calm down? It's just a date. Actually, it's a second date. Praise the Lord! Oh my God. Wow. What happens when she gets a third date? No idea. For all we know, the earth could split open. <laughs> For your information, I can have all the second, third, or tenth dates I want. I just happen to be very picky. Well, I'm not picky. I take anybody to the game with me. CJ, you want to go? I get you a bobblehead doll. <laughs> Kevin, I want to hear more about Eartha's boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend yet. We still haven't gone on a Saturday night date, and that's how you know you're in a relationship. That or when the pregnancy test comes back positive. <laughs> I need somebody to go to the game with me tonight. Why don't you just call a friend? Um, because friends come and go. A family. <laughs> family is forever. In other words, you have no friends. Are you kidding me? Got lots of friends. I just don't have any in Philadelphia. But there's a good reason for that. I mean, I've only been here a little while. It's not like I live on campus. And it doesn't help that I got a six o'clock dinner curfew. I mean, I can use your help here, you know. Lengthen the leash a little. Give me a chance to meet some people I really connect with. Hmm. I understand, and I'm sure I can work something out to help you. Well, thank you, Aunt Tina, because it's just a matter of time. You know, people love me. Back in L.A., they didn't call me Kevin Hart. They called me Kevin Parte Harte. That was when you still had money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. We don't eat until Kevin gets home. Well, it better be soon, because if my blood sugar drops, I lose the ability to think clearly. Has it been dropping since second grade? <laughs> ah. Hey, what is wrong with you? It's almost 7 o'clock. That's right. I should be suffering from heartburn by now. Wait a minute. I thought you said I could have some extra hang time at school to meet some people. I said no such thing. So when you said that we could work something out, what'd you mean? I'll show you. Lamont? Kevin, this is your new friend, Lamont. Uh, what? It's nice to meet you. You know, your aunt told me you were lonely, but you had a friend all along, Kevin, and his name is Jesus. Oh, so you can go then. <laughs> she told me you were funny. Well, so am I. All right, who's your favorite apostle? John, Paul, or Ringo? What? Oh! <laughs> Aunt Tina, can I, uh... Can I... Can I speak to you for a minute? Go ahead. In the kitchen. <laughs> Aunt Tina, I can't believe you... I can't believe you fixed me up on a blind date with the guy. <laughs> Isn't he great? I'm sorry, but doesn't it seem a little, uh, gay to you? <laughs> gay? What's gay about two lonely boys getting together for a night of fun? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, look, Antine, um, I really appreciate your effort here, but this, uh, this, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> How do you know? You just met him. Because his psycho smile clashes a little with his serial killer eyes. <laughs> Look, just give it a chance. If it doesn't work out, there are plenty of other fish in the church. But I think you guys may just hit it off. Fine. Fine. <laughs> there was a man who is our Lord, and Jesus is his name. Oh, J-E-S-U-S, J-E-S-U-S. U.S. and Jesus is his name. Oh, Kevin, take it. As hall monitor and security guard, reflexes are critical. Try and snatch this hall pass from my hand. All right, you two, clear up on out of here. Your sister's future husband will be here any minute now. Wow, a third date with the same guy? Does she talk during the first two? I'm as shocked as you are. Hey, but when the Red Sea parts, you don't ask no questions, you just march on through. Now, both of you, march. Tell me the truth, does this outfit make me look too brazen? Maybe for a Taliban girl, but probably not. Stop it, Clarence. You don't want her to look easy. No! But I want her to look reasonable. Daddy. Ooh, that's him. I get it. No, 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 no. I'll get it. And please go away. I don't want you to ruin this for me. You're like boyfriend poison. Go. Daddy. Hello. Hi. Sorry I'm a little early. It's okay, I understand. You couldn't wait to see me. You're only human. Come on in. So, um, go in, watch TV, and I'll be right there. Hey! 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 You must be Kevin or Martin, man. I, 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 I've been looking forward to meeting you. I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, I bet she did tell you a lot. Uh, look, I'm sorry if you got railroaded into this. Oh, I didn't get railroaded. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay, uh, what's your favorite Bible passage? Oh, oh, what a save! Hey, the Flyers, you like hockey? Oh, I love it. It's nice seeing white guys chasing each other with six for a change. <laughs> Wait a minute. I never thought I'd meet another brother in Philly who likes hockey. <laughs> what's next, a white girl named Shamika? <laughs> <laughs> Where was you at Friday, man? I was dying to go to the game. Oh, I was there. My dad had season tickets. It was incredible. Look, Ronick hit Paul Korea so hard, he skated off the ice looking like a bobblehead doll. He was like... <laughs> I do bobble heads too. Oh, see, so you got it. Yeah, see, you you much more bobblistic than me, man. <laughs> oh, come on, break away. Hey, break it, break hey. It. Oh, whoa. What, what happened to the reception? Somebody in Philadelphia probably using a hair dryer. <laughs> hey, you want to go down to the sports bar, catch the rest of the hockey game? After that, the Sixers are playing the Lakers. Already have dinner reservations. Dinner? Come on, what's fun about that? Let's go to the sports bar. It's much more casual. That's true. But are you sure you shouldn't go upstairs and make sure it's okay with you? Of course it's okay with her. It was her idea. Okay, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> you know, baby, I sure could use me a cold glass of wine. Hello. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I didn't know we had company. <laughs> Hello, Martin. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland. Kevin, I see you've met Martin. Isn't he terrific? Yeah, and he's a huge hockey fan, too. And unlike Lamont, he doesn't say grace before eating a breath mint. <laughs> If you guys will excuse me, uh, I gotta take two minutes in the old uh, penalty box, but uh, feel free to flatter me behind my back. <laughs> two minutes in the penalty box! <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> That's my boy right there, T. I I gotta say, that guy's a keeper. <laughs> oh, look at my baby girl. Oh, is that a new sweater? It looks great. I know when you say, it looks great, that's just a guy code for, they look great. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it if you would limit your incestuous glances. She's taken, boy. And I don't need no three-headed grandchildren. And look, you two, I told you I don't want you down here. This date is very oh. important. I don't want you messing it up. Go. OK, ready to go? Great. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, Kevin's coming with us. Said it was your idea. Look, I'm parked like three streets over. I'll go ahead, get the car, pick you guys up, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? That's your date? Yeah, and you invited yourself. What you got to say for yourself, boy? Um, 
Shotgun. Good idea. I'll go get it. What were you thinking horning in on my date? I didn't know. Okay, I thought Martin was another friend Aunt Tina fixed me up with. How could you think Martin was here for you? Uh, because he's totally my type. Okay, he's smart, he's funny, he has great shoes, and I've really got to find a non-gay way to talk about this. Oh, please, you knew I had a date tonight because I mentioned it at the table. I don't pay attention to all that talk at dinner. <laughs> all I hear is the sound of my arteries congealing. All the people to be friends with. You gotta pick the one guy in America who likes Eartha. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean, Kevin? I can't believe you, Kevin, upsetting my sister like this. You want me to handcuff him to the radiator? I told you, CJ. Handcuffs are not a toy. That's why they stay right here in my belt. <laughs> CJ! <laughs> Damn it! This is my third date. It's crucial. If Martin doesn't ask me out for a Saturday night soon, it's clear that this relationship is going nowhere. Okay, look, I'm sorry. It's just a misunderstanding. Okay, I'll just make him an excuse. I won't go. No, no, no. Martin will see right through that, and I'll just look all desperate and clingy. She's right, but he's got to know the truth sometime. <laughs> Eartha's right. You have to go with him now. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Okay, wait a minute. Look, look, this is actually good, okay? I'll take some of the pressure off. In fact, you know what? I guarantee she gets another date on Saturday night. I guarantee it. I hope so. You better not mess this up for her. Mess it up? Please. I'm an expert on relationships. I haven't missed one episode of The Bachelor. In fact, I guarantee you will be getting your rose tonight. Yeah, don't say stuff like that on a date. Come on. Hey, Warren, you want to go play cards? Sure. <laughs> CJ! as good as Eartha, am I right? <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. I work hard to look better than a seven-foot, 300-pound bald man. <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> you do look nice. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that cheerleader. Which one? The one with the booze bigger than her head? Yeah, yeah, we used to go to the same church. Well, apparently her prayers have been answered. <laughs> <laughs> Not to name drop, but one time I met Maya Angelou's cousin, really down to earth, just like you and me. Well, except for the missing hand. <laughs> Well, there you go. Hey, so what are you gonna have? Well, I was gonna have chicken fingers, but now I think I'll go with something a little less hand-like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that? Oh! Oh, I just Ooh. landed in Shaq's face! Hey! Hey! Ah! Oh, Arthur, did you see that? Yeah, that was, uh, something else. Oh, do you like basketball? No, I think it sends the wrong message to inner-city youth that, uh, sports are the pinnacle of achievement instead of, uh, education or community service. <laughs> That's funny. Y'all are like a comedy team. You know, you set them up and you knock them down. You know what? Kevin, I have tickets to the Flyers Kings game. You want to go? Are you kidding me? When's the game? <laughs> Saturday, man. Saturday? Yeah. Oh, oh, what am I thinking about? I'm, I'm actually busy Saturday night. Hey, but you know, you should take Arthur. Yeah. Oh, okay. You want to go? I would love to go out on Saturday, but um, instead of the hockey game, the Women's Theater Coalition is doing an all-female production of 12 Angry Men. <laughs> Let's do that instead. Um, okay. Great, okay. Excuse me while I freshen up. Freshen up? <laughs> she killed me, man. She's funny. <laughs> hey, Kevin, can I be honest with you, man? Yeah. I see what you're trying to do, and that's, that's like, real cool to you, but... Me and Eartha, it's just not working out. What? Why not? Well, I mean, I, I thought it'd be, you know, different, a change of pace to go out with somebody smart and interesting, but she's just so serious. I know. Seriously, fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, look, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is all my fault. Not seriously, because I dragged y'all out here, you know, but you gotta understand, this isn't her element. You know, she, she's, she likes museums and, and poetry readings and protesting the death penalty. And I'm not really helping right now, am I? No, no, not so much. Okay, why, why don't you do this then? Just go out with her one more time on Saturday night. 
I mean, come on now. That's what America's about. Second chances. You do consider yourself an American, don't you? Actually, I'm Canadian. Work with me here, man. <laughs> Look, it's just not gonna happen. But if you wanna come with me to the game on Saturday, I got no plans now. So, wh when do you plan on telling her? I'm not. You know, we only gone out like a few times. I'm just not gonna call her. She'll get the idea. Well, maybe that's how they break up in Canada. But here in America, we date women until they get tired of us. <laughs> yes, that's why you got more alcoholics and gun deaths. Look, I'm just trying to tell you that you're making a real big mistake here. I mean, yeah, Eartha may be a little intense, okay? But first of all, a confident guy would be able to handle that. Maybe you just need to step up your game. And second of all, she's a lot more fun than you think. I'm just gonna turn this off so we can talk. Eartha, uh, 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 it's overtime. Yes, it is. Hey. Oh! Warren, I hope I didn't make you feel bad. You're a much better security guard than I'd ever be. You really mean that? Yeah, man. Give me a hug. Oh, man. Little brother. Oh. And I promise, I won't take your handcuffs again. Good. Because that's not cool. <laughs> CJ! <laughs> you fought the law, and the law won. Martin and Earth had just pulled up. Let's get some tin cans and tie them to the bumper. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Quick! What? <laughs> Sit down. Now get busy. Uh, oh. So, how was your day? Martin is so amazing, and he asked me out on Saturday night. I think he's officially my boyfriend. Oh, my God! <laughs> Mama. Come upstairs with me. I need to decide what to wear on Saturday. Okay. How about a wedding dress and a veil? Uh, wait. Eartha, can I, uh, speak to you for a minute? Sure, go ahead. In the kitchen! What is wrong with you people? This is a signal! <laughs> Kevin, I don't like keeping things in my family, so if there's something you want to say, just say it. Okay. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but, um, Martin told me that he wasn't interested in you anymore. What? Personally, I think he's nuts. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're just jealous. You want Martin all to yourself. Earth, I'm serious. He told me that he was never going to call you again. I swear I wouldn't lie about that. But why? But why? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me why. I want to hear. Well, uh, sometimes you can be a little too in your face. What? You mean just because a woman is strong, automatically she's too in your face? I suppose you think I'm too in your face, too, huh? <laughs> what would give you that idea? Mama, let him finish. What else did he say? That you can uh, occasionally be intense and kind of... Not so fun. Please don't hurt me. Is he right? Do you think that? Kind of, but that's who you are, okay? You shouldn't change for Martin or anybody else. Wow. Well, I appreciate your honesty. Oh. Oh. I feel terrible for her, but I'm sure other boys will come around. So will Haley's Comet, but not in my lifetime. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Kevin. Wanted to talk to you about the hockey game on Saturday. Are you kidding me? Calling me up after you did what you did to my cousin? What? You know what. Look, let me tell you something. All right, you're not good enough for me, and you're not good enough for my cousin. And you look like Rudy from Fat Albert. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what you can do with those tickets of yours, man? Hey, Kevin, stop. I was calling because I wanted to make plans with Eartha on Saturday. You are? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it, and you were... You were right. I was being shallow. You know, and Eartha just might challenge me to open up my mind a bit. But she will challenge your mind. And I'm glad you thought about what I said. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we'll just catch the next game, right, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, put Eartha on the phone. 
Arthur, uh, the telephone. Who is it? It's Martin. What? The Martin you said was never gonna call me again? Well, he changed his mind with a little assist from me. Oh, please, he never said any of those awful things you said he said about me, did he? No, he did. Uh, I just wanted Martin off myself. I was being selfish. I'm sorry. Can't believe I actually believed you. Like he would ever exchange all these goods for something else. Hi, Martin. Can I call you back from upstairs? Okay, bye. And stop checking out my walk away. <laughs> you got a good heart. You know that, Kevin. <laughs> Unfortunately, you still don't have any friends. Hey, I've had a friend all along. And Jesus was his name. Oh, J E S U S. J E S U S. Take it. <laughs>